A lot of what we do in the Faculty of Science and Engineering has art integrated within it. For example, in our architecture uh, uh, courses, as well as in architecture research, there is a lot of art uh, integrated within that particular discipline. And creativity in STEM, in science, technology, engineering and maths, has elements of art within it and it's really important that we bring that out to the public to show that integration. It's quite a deep integration of art in STEM and uh, this year in our SciFest, our Festival of Science and Engineering, we will be bringing in a different form of art we usually have our science theatre. It's a very popular part of our SciFest programme. But this year, we are bringing a different form of art and we're bringing in more music and uh, dance, as well as a cultural element. And this will be in collaboration with Truthy UK and the British Carnatic Choir. Thank you, Professor Nazira, for uh, giving us this wonderful opportunity to be a part of um, the STEAM project. Now, incorporating or integrating arts in, into the science and engineering actually um, is, aims to promote or engage students and community to enhance or hone their creativity skills um, and be more imaginative in their thinking and also to apply the art and real life solutions, uh, situations and problem solving. This is uh, a pioneering project spearheaded by the science and engineering team at the University of Wolverhampton. And on behalf of Shruti UK and the patrons and um, the trustees of the British Carnatic Choir, it is indeed my pleasure and a great honour to be a part of this project. I am really looking forward to uh, the 1st of July to be actively uh, involved in this project through music and dance from the south of India. So during uh, the festival, we will be uh, showcasing, we will be bringing out the physics that is essential uh, in music. We will be bringing in the biomechanics involved in dancing and my own subject area, chemistry. We will talk about how important the materials are in creating, the yes. String the instruments, yes. What intensity is required to produce a particular sound in terms of physics yes. and in chemistry um, uh, to see how um, the material is used under what temperature to uh, you know, give that kind of resonance um, to support the main um, artist uh, whilst uh, music or a dance performance. So it's the material that gives a different sound but at different temperatures you mm -hmm. get different sounds. Yes. So it's a, it's a really interesting and exciting way to uh, see how the sciences influence uh, music. They have a major part in uh, both uh, music as well as dance. Dance, especially the South Indian classical dance, is also called as a Natya Yoga, a dance yoga. So this is all about geometry, all about mathematics and physics and, you know, the symmetry of the body, uh, movements and the movement of space. Uh, around us so it is all very very positioned and structured so it'll be very exciting uh, stem day with uh, physics chemistry mathematics biomechanics all demonstrated and brought out through music and art